Attention, gentlemen. Our source on the island just made a critical discovery. The Constant has a poison chip embedded in his neck. A failsafe, in case he's compromised. Damn it. Uh, we should have expected something like this. So, we subdue the Constant before he has time to react. Not that simple. The device is remote triggered, and during his stay on the island, two kill switches have been entrusted to twin sisters Zoe and Sophia Washington, two young, ambitious Providence operatives and newly appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Apparently, even the Constant is unaware of this arrangement. Right, change of plans. We divide and conquer. 47 takes out the Washingtons while I figure out a way to get the Constant off the island. It'll be tight, but once we're back at the ship, we should be able to surgically remove the chip before the partners have time to react. 47? Tell me about the targets. I know them from the archive. Zoe and Sophia's father is president of a powerful conservative think tank, one of Providence's prime assets. The apples don't fall far from the tree. No saints either. According to ICA files, the twins are pampered socialites who get their kicks from treasure hunting. Commanding a band of trigger-happy mercenaries, Zoe and Sophia prowl the world in search for ancient relics. With little regard for local culture or even human life, they stop at nothing to claim their prize. Well, collateral damage they may be, but safe to say, they have it coming. of scale, headquarters of the Ark Society. Founded by Janus in 1991, the Ark Society is the world's most exclusive club. Its plutocratic members fear the downfall of civilization, and they are willing to pay huge sums to ensure their own survival. Once a year, they gather here to shop the latest survival products and to showcase new initiatives and breakthroughs. Right. These gatherings are shrouded in mystery, so we have limited intel on what to expect on the other side of the walls. The Washington Twins are hosting their first annual gathering as chairwomen of the Ark Society, and the Constant is known to attend every year. Beyond that, you're on your own. Good luck, gentlemen. I dare say you're going to need it.
bored with all their money and like a little role play to spice things up. I'm okay with that, as long as there's no kinky stuff involved. That is not my huh? money at all. Uh uh. Sir, you dropped something. Hmm? You heard it? Go see. Roger that. Say what? What the? What idiot would drop this? Now I'm considering one of the core suites. Oh, ho, ho, big spender. I thought those were locked. Oh. Ah, one of our guys. Come on in. Excuse me, sir. I think you dropped something.
thinks I'm fooling around. But she doesn't understand the concept of an NDI. What's with that weird bird effigy? The annual phoenix service. It symbolizes the collapse of civilization in which the Aunt Society emerges unscathed and triumphant. Ah. Rebirth. I get it. What's new is that the Master of Ceremonies will light the... Interesting. Act. Zoe Washington is going to partake in a ceremony symbolizing the downfall of civilization from which the Ark Society will emerge unscathed. But she on fire with Zoe Washington inside it. Huh. A bit showy, wouldn't you say? Hey, never so. Ah, uh, right. Evening. Seriously, I'll, I'll pay you. Me? You're the master of ceremony. I'm a multiple Tony award-winning playwright. And famously reclusive. It's part of my brand. I never go on the spot like this. Besides, I do chamber plays. Spectacle? What if people hate it? They won't hate it, Mr. Feniger. It's just entertainment. Entertainment? Lord, what have I done? How did I let her talk me into this? Should I tell Miss Washington that you won't be going on stage? Uh, everyone's waiting for you. God, no. No, she frightens me. Just, uh, just, just, just give me a moment to control my nerves. All right, Mr. Penninger. Break a leg. Oh. Who would break this? People have no respect for other people's property anymore.
some pledge, and yet, a drop in the ocean. Society recognizes you as our founder's rightful successor, our inspiration, our guiding light, the custodian of our future. Excellent work, 47. Enjoy the spotlight. Patrons of the Ark Society, Sir? you are part of a select chosen few. Our founder, Janus, showed us how to survive. But survival is not enough. We must live, and we must soar. The Ark Society must not only commit itself to survival, but to progress. Be it our next home in the stars, or the oh, next man, step in jack. human evolution. This, not just to lead, but to lead from the front. When the time comes, and all comes tumbling down. When mankind retreats once more into caves of superstition, we will keep the fire alight. We will be the torchbearers, the trailblazers, and pioneers. Do, do not feel guilty for your privilege. Be proud. Be fearless. For the future is ours to shape. Look at you, Feniger. All dressed to kill. Now, let's do this thing. Light her up. As the world burns, we rise from its ashes. Not just to survive, but to live. Providence's top controller. Everything depends on capturing hey. him alive. Hey, Fennigan. Still alive. 
over a month. I have some of the world's most prominent people waiting to pay him their last respects. Have a nice day. I have the star of the Prague Philharmonic on stage. you before your fellows without your prize dagger now can we miss washington what was i that? forget which one she tells me it belonged to uh, sar nicholas and Someone's in trouble. Sir. Huh? Hello? Excuse me. What? Not another one. It's great. Really. Why? Why are you doing this?
Mister! You should not be sneaking around here! You might get hurt! around here, okay? Please behave. Shit, 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 shit. Did he die? Peacefully. Ah, it's just I hear things. I never worried about the things. We'll fight the Cold War. What could possibly go wrong? What is the next employers? You shouldn't talk about this, Constantine. No one should be this powerful, sir. Too much power in too few hands is like a lightning rod. I worry about you as well. I appreciate it. But there's really no need. Very good, sir. Are you today? I suppose you're right. I never really thought about it. When I was little, my dad Yes. Hello, sir. Do you 
facility. That what? is Sophia Washington, chairwoman of the Ark Society, professional treasure hunter, and Providence operative. Quite the resume. Good evening, Sophia. Here's something 47. According to this email thread, Sophia Washington has recruited one of the architects in a plan to discredit the constant. Sounds promising. Interesting. The poison chip in the constant's neck was designed by a Kronstadt engineer, a Mr. Marek Sinclair, who also works for the Ark Society. Apparently, Sophia wants... Olivia is trying to locate Mr. Sinclair's cell number. See if we can't contact him directly. Stand by. Cool. I gotta remember to ask Clementine about that. There, we have Sinclair's number. Making the call now. Keep your eyes peeled, 47. Architects only. What's the worst thing? Ghosts couldn't get past this setup. It's the holy grail of nothing. Hmm. I'll keep on calling Sinclair until you have a visual. Sophia Washington is trying to persuade Janus's original five to embrace the Green Revolution. Fat chance. The original five are all energy CEOs. Alarm systems up and running. Out of sight. How are you today, sir? Delgado had a really impressive collection of artworks. My guess is that any impending collapse will go hand in hand with the banks going nuclear. Miss Washington. I forgot to ask. Uh, what are the most frequently asked questions about the Hyperborean initiative? Some of the surveyed asked about security. Will the city have the defenses to withstand a tsunami of refugees? Of course, what they fail to realize is how inhospitable the inland ice is. Only the most resourceful would ever even reach the city walls. And unless you're on a strict Fine polar bear night. diet, sieges are out of the question. Yes, very good. Anything else? Others express concern about political interference. Plenty of nations have a stake in the Arctic and Greenland is part of the Danish realm. Some members are reluctant to invest millions only to get caught up in some kind of ownership dispute uh, that's been sorted out but we'll make sure to inform the members in the next newsletter thank you that's very helpful carry on what? No, I don't need that's 
In Gossip. Good evening, sir. Look alive, boys. This ain't a vacation. Any of you seen Zoe? I just hope she doesn't accidentally kill someone with that ridiculous ECT device. A fried billionaire is the last thing we need on our hands. Sure thing, Sophia. Anyway, back to the imminent end of the world. I'll give up. This level of encryption's out of my league. Whoever sent you this message knew what they were doing. Well, keep trying. It's important. What's going on, Sophia? I haven't seen you or Zoe this excited since the Lost Temple in Burma. Your muscle, Adrian? You don't need to know everything. Screw that. All the crap we've pulled over the years. You can trust me, Sophia. You know you can. You can trust all the boys. So who is it from? Fine. You must have known for a while that Zoe and I have... benefactors. A group that opens doors and gets you where you need to be. Our father has served them for decades, and now, so do we. Wait, that hostage tape, the hidden hand, they're real? Yes, they're the ones who placed us here. They have a plan for everything, but they never contact you directly. There's always a middleman. Until this morning. Until this morning. So keep up the trace, Adrian. We'll talk more when I get back. Feels wrong. I got a bad case of the butterflies. Maybe I. I I think we both know that if okay. it happens, there'll be some other element at play. Oh. Something Excuse even me. we can't predict. Sometimes I can't tell if you're trying to talk me into spending all my money or sealing it in a cement hole.
That's Sinclair, all right. And those are the blueprints for the poison chip. Should come in handy. I suppose. No rope, no mask. Sure. Which rank are you? What did you oh, do? I'm more I don't know. an outside but observer. She seemed really Mr. interested in this Name's Sinclair. Something called I'm Chief she Technical Designer at Quanstad Industries. The name well, whatever it is about. He did not want to be part of it. But Here. An order's an order. I think it might interest you. What's this? I think you Poor know. Well, the chip in you your neck is my design. Which means I can override it for a price. Most interesting. Meet me at the tower and be discreet. We can't be seen together. Always am. So, brain uploads, huh? Living forever as a string of code. Sir. Good evening, sir. Please come in. Have a seat. It's lovely by the fireplace. May I see those blueprints again, please? Interesting. All right, Mr. Sinclair. I'm listening. Don't. In fact, Forget all I said. Excuse me? This wasn't my idea. Sophia Washington. She's the one who told me to approach you. It's all a trap. Go on. I never asked why. I just went along because she's the boss. And you're telling me this now? Why? Let's just say I don't like to get my hands dirty. I see. Thank you for your candor, Mr. Sinclair. You have been most helpful. Hang on for a moment. Sophia, I need to see you at the tower. I'm sure you are, and no, it can't. Nicely done, 47. This should put Sophia firmly in the doghouse. I am sorry you got dragged into this. Sophia is spectacularly ambitious. Unfortunately, like most people of her elk, she lacks humility and a sense of station. And who are you, exactly? A humble advisor. Nothing more. All right, I'm here. Are you gonna tell me what's so damn important? Ah, Sophia. I believe you know Mr. Sinclair. We've met. What of it? <sighs> I don't blame you for trying, Sophia. Just for failing. Upstairs. Sir. Now. I'm sorry, sir. Not even architects are allowed back here. Sir, I'm sorry. This is a restricted area. That's a good boy. You're no offense, but I hope I don't see you again. my mentor's wishes because I saw something in you. And this is how you repay me? 
You think because the partners noticed you that you have their trust, their confidence. I have served them for decades, and you don't even know their names. And yet, you're the one with a poison chip in your neck, and I'm the one holding the trigger. You? They gave it to you. Ouch. Have a situation. I'll check the perimeter. Over. Ah, great. I've said my piece. We're done here. Pause. Both targets down. Impressive work, 47. And now, to confront the Constant. Somebody Mr. Gray, help me. what's your status? I'm at the helicopter, but the place is crawling with security. 47, you'd better bring the Constant to the harbor where it's less crowded. You can hijack one of the Archean boats. Question is how? He's not likely to come quietly. Unless you get your hands on a kill switch. Yes, that might just work. Search one of the twins, 47. I'm so sorry, sir. Yes, sir. We are well clear. Evening. How are we doing? Talk to me, people. Semper Paratus. We're clear, sir. Okay. We're safe. Thank you. I won't forget this. The Washingtons are dead. I have the kill switch. What did you say? How could you know about that? You will head towards the harbor. No sudden moves, no signs or warnings. I will trigger the device if I need to. I know you. The boy in the picture. You have his eyes. You're Burnwood's assassin. Move. Partners no more. I take it. Well, I had a notion something didn't sit right with my mentor's betrayal. You murdered him, I take it, to get to me. Not just that. He had it coming. Interesting. It was my impression that you were cured of such sentiment. The good doctor built his serum specifically to target the seats of your emotions. Has Miss Burnwood's sense of justice rubbed off on you? I wonder. Just keep walking. Sir? I know 
I'm supposed for to feel worth, something. Jane but the fact Fowl is, Bortmeier's Jane is project the distasteful, about not it. to mention inefficient. But alas, sometimes you have to play the hand you're dealt. This is not an ICA-sanctioned operation. What exactly does Miss Burnwood plan to achieve by targeting her clients? Violating her own code? She's doing it for us. Us? I'm glad I'm rich, Oh, though. I see. I was rich before. The penny drops. I should have known. How does a man leave no trace? By not existing in the first place. Lucas Gray. Or was it Subject 6? He died when the Institute went up in flames, but no body was ever produced. And unlike you, his rage never faded. So, now you want the partners, the men behind the curtain who've caused you all this pain? Well, before you go knocking down a wall, you better make sure it's not load-bearing. It's not like there's anywhere I can hide. Hello there. Still think this is maintenance. Oh, Miss Burnwood, what have you done? Changing horses midstream? Truly unprofessional. You know what we want. Where is the carrot? No carrot. You're useless to the partners. Compromised. Even if we let you live, you can never return. Why die protecting them? When I can drag them down with me. It's a bad hand, but it's all you've got. Three families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlisles, the Stuyvesants. Three dynasties secretly pooling their resources over generations, creating a singularity so dense that nothing escapes its gravity. Never heard of them. Well, they've heard of you. In fact, you just became the top of their agenda. Go. We can't give them time to retaliate. Don't take your eyes off him. Be careful. 
Well, here we are again. I must admit I am disappointed, Miss Burnwood. I had such big plans for you. Save it. I know the truth now. You're outplayed. You have nothing left to bargain with. <laughs> you are so certain. So sure of the people closest to you. He never fails, does he? He never misses his mark. You found a window into his past. And yet, something else remains hidden. A simple truth you learned long ago. Diana! Coming! No one, Miss Burnwood, is untouchable.